Hello everybody, welcome back. We're in a different setting today. Welcome to my car. <laughs> so I just started making this video very abruptly, very impromptu. I just walked out of Dollar Tree. I came to get like a couple of things that I usually get at Dollar Tree. So I walked in and first of all, everything is like Valentine's Day, bam, in your face. Even though Christmas was literally like yesterday and it hasn't, New Year's hasn't even happened yet. I turn the corner and I reach the spring section and I find these crafts and I just suddenly am like, okay i need to do these and i was like wait this should be a video so anyway welcome to this random video i'm gonna cut to me inside dollar tree right now just having the time of my life in the spring section because even though it is still december right now they've gone in on the spring section and we are going to be doing some spring crafts this is how i feel it has little paints in it and everything why is this so cute why is this making me so happy look a little pot. I'm so excited. We're gonna do all of these crafts. Wait, look at these. You could have like a whole village. You can make a little gnome town. The garden section has taken over. I want it all. I don't even have a garden. I have a balcony. Should I take up gardening? This all looks so fun. Look at these little pots. Oh my god, it just keeps going. There's more. Oh wait, okay. What else do we want from the crafts first? I'm getting distracted. Should I paint a gnome? I kind of, I want this frog. There's also St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day and Christmas clearance. There's a lot of holidays going on over here right now. Okay, look, this just keeps going. We can start a whole garden. A flower pot hugger. Look, it's a little gnome. Oh, shit. <gasps> Vegetables. Why is Dollar Tree literally going off right now? This looks cool. Over 500 seeds, just plant and water. That seems simple enough. We'll do that. But that's it. I'm taking up gardening now. This one's cute to grow the flowers in. I can like spread the seeds out so they grow in here. They've just completely killed it on the spring section right now. Dollar Tree doing the most, doing the best. Round of applause. When I get a house, I will have an entire herb garden, I've decided. Look at all of these things that you can grow. I'm gonna get this gnome. He's just speaking to me. He's gonna watch over the flowers as they grow. We've made it to the craft section. The spark has been reignited of crafts. I love crafts. I actually used to volunteer at an elementary school with like kindergartners and second graders and I loved doing the crafts. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some paint. What colors should I get? I guess I'll get spring colors. I'll get white and pink and green, I think. Is washable paint good? Washable from skin and most clothing. I think that's a positive. Should I get watercolors? I think that's all I need for right now, even though I want to get everything, but I don't even know what I would use it for. So we're gonna focus on just this painting for right now and the gardening. And then we'll come back and we'll raid this craft section and do some other crafts. Okay, <laughs> I love it here. Good job, Dollar Tree. Hello, I've made it home with many fun things. Did a quick wardrobe update. I'm very excited to do these crafts. I'm gonna do a quick little haul to kind of recap on what we got. We have our gnome friend over here. Look how cute. I think I'm gonna name him Fred. Freddy. Freddy the gnome. He's gonna look over our garden. I got this little ceramic pot to paint and this little watering can. It's so cute. It comes with little paints in it and the little paintbrush. I also got this little paint palette just to have some more color options in case I feel like getting a little crazy. I also got normal paint because I figured this paint would be better. I got this little birdhouse. I just love it. I got another pack of paint brushes. Oh, and the little sponge things in case to like cover more surface. What is this? Oh, my frog. Maybe his name should be Freddy. Freddy the frog. Okay, sorry. The gnome, we need to change his name. Maybe it should start with a G. Gary the gnome and Freddy the frog. <laughs> Look at Freddy just straight up vibing, just living his best life. This is the energy that we're going into 2023 with. We must learn from Freddy. Freddy's gonna hang out with us during this video right there. I got some flower seeds. Flower Rocket produces countless flowers. It's a never ending bouquet. I also got soil, it's over there. And these little garden gloves, look how cute they are. Love it. I'm just gonna move this over here and make it my arts and crafts area. I don't even know where to start. Like, what do we do first? Maybe we should do the little pot so that I can plant my flower rocket. Wow, this is legit. There's like all these different brushes and sizes and stuff. I am an artiste. 
Now that I have paint, actually I should probably get more colors. I should have gotten like blue, but whatever. Oh, we have, duh. There's a whole palette of colors here. Okay, we're good. I think I'm gonna do a little wine and painting night and force my friends to do crafts with me. Even though it's a good little solo activity, because again, hear me out. I'm doing all of these things as a form of practicing mindfulness and presence, which I've spoken about in I think my last two videos. Baking, any type of craft, it's just bringing back that awareness and just like doing something almost, it's like mindful and mindless at the same time because it's something that's like, you're not putting in strenuous brain power, but it does give you the chance to slow down and to focus on something that you're just doing out of genuine, I guess, fun. I'm doing this for fun. I'm not an artist. I'm not a baker. I don't do these things with a mindset that it's gonna be perfect. It's doing things just to take a moment to be in the present moment and bring back that little like spark for life. My theme for the new year is just being at peace and doing things that make me feel peaceful, surrounding myself with people that bring me peace, with situations that bring me peace. Life is too short to not feel good about it. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta do things for you. Could I be doing a million other things right now? Yes. But it's also, this isn't gonna take me very long. This is gonna take me like an hour to do. Sometimes we just have to screw everything else for a moment. I need me time. I need to do something for myself. I need to be aware of myself and good with myself before I can be any good to anyone else. And if that means taking a little time to do a mindless craft or something as simple as going for a 10 minute walk, doing a little meditation, meditation, reading, anything that inspires self-reflection is important to incorporate into your life. There's never a right time. The right time is always right now. Don't sit around waiting for the perfect moment to do things because the only thing you actually have is the present. The past exists in our mind, the future exists in our mind. The one tangible thing that we have is right now. And each moment is an opportunity to make a choice. And that choice is completely up to you. And I think that is very empowering. It looks like a little egg. I'll take a sunny side up. Do you guys call it a fried egg or a sunny side up? Because I've always called it a sunny side up. And I think like people get it when I say that, but I later realized that people just call it a fried egg. Now what do I say? See, usually when I make these videos, I don't think, period. I don't think ahead as to what I'm gonna say. I kind of just say whatever comes out and hope that it makes sense. Hopefully that's like enjoyable. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm a thinker. I think about things and I like to share these thoughts which is why I make these little videos and these little pep talks and stuff because I feel like that's the point of having certain experiences and coming to certain realizations is not only to like have that for yourself and have that knowledge I guess that it gives you or wisdom one would say but also to share that with other people. So whenever I make these videos, I just hope that it resonates with at least one person that watches it and helps in some type of way. But uh, now we have leaves. We're getting there, we're making progress. I think I'm gonna get creative and make a new color. Once again, we're back with a challenge for Gigi, opening these little seals. Gonna do a little bit of yellow and then a little bit of pink. Oh, we're on to something. Oh, that made a pretty orange. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We made orange. Perfect, that worked out. I like this tone of orange that has come out. Kinda looks like Chick-fil-A sauce. Now we have an orange flower. Now we're gonna make red. So we'll do the white first. A little drop of pink. Ah, <laughs> not a little drop of pink. Two shots of vodka. Two shots? of vodka. <laughs> Pours the whole bottle. Oh, well, let's blend it and see what happens. Is that not gonna make red? Am I tripping? I thought pink and white made red. Oh, or is it white and red make pink? Duh. White and pink are just gonna make a lighter pink. I am stupid. <laughs> wow. Why did I think that white and pink would make red? Honestly, I was close enough because white and red make pink. I just mixed them up in my head. Should I just throw some yellow in there? What's that gonna do? That's gonna make orange, duh. That's what I just made. I feel like I'm in art class right now, except nobody knows anything because I'm the only one here and I don't know shit. I'm really trying here. We all have our strengths. Painting is not one of mine, but you know what? I'm having a good time. I am just blocking out the rest of the world right now. My phone is on do not disturb and I am just painting a flower on a pot. <laughs> 
that's it. Look at her. How cute. <laughs> I am pleased. I think we should plant the seeds. There are still other crops, but I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna do this one for now and maybe we'll come back for a part two of the other ones. Oh, wait, is this gonna be a fail? I don't think I can put this in this pot. I thought it was little seeds. What is this? Oh, okay, well, thank you for joining me today. We cannot plant the flowers in this pot. Apparently it's this whole thing that goes in the soil. Clearly this <laughs> does not fit in here. I'm gonna have to put something else in, in this. I can hold my sponge brushes in this. It'll just be a little sponge brush holder. There we go. I'm gonna have to go back to Dollar Tree. I forgot the thing that I actually went for, which was parchment paper, and I forgot it because I got so distracted by the craft section that I forgot what I actually went there for. So I'm gonna have to go back to Dollar Tree and get my parchment paper and a bigger pot for our flower rocket. I think we're good with this for now. It's not perfect, obviously. I am not an artist, but it was fun. I hope you enjoyed yet another pep talk while I do some random activity. <laughs> Freddie over here had a great time. We all just need to be a little bit more like Freddie. We just need to chill out. <laughs> Stay tuned for part two. Maybe I'll get some friends involved and we'll have a little um, painting party to paint some birdhouses and I'll keep you guys updated. And I also will plant this flower rocket because I'm actually very interested in how this grows. But anyway, that's all for now. Me and my pot wish you well and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.